beautiful souls. I hope you're doing well. In today's creative intuitive transmission, we are going to have a look at the creation we've uh, we've produced today, which is entitled Lahinai, and that you can see on my right and spelled here on my left, Lahinai. But before we actually start uh, looking at the artwork and its uh, iconographical interpretation, uh, and even before getting into the uh, heat of the subject or uh, uh, of today, uh, first of all, I just wanted to make a very quick announcement saying that uh, for those who has been, have been sh following this channel for some time now, you know that uh, during the, the last part of last year, 2023, I had started a series of interviews were pe with people from, um, you know, either people from the galactic community or just, you know, people who are on a spiritual journey, people who are, you know, into all this stuff <laughs> that um, were coming to express their views and their engagement into uh, manifesting a positive reality on Terra, our planet Earth. And I thought that was a very insp inspirational series of interviews because people had a lot to bring, uh, a lot of uh, really interesting, unique elements. Uh, and also it gave us a little bit of a pulse of where people stand at in terms of what their interests are, what star seeds and earth seeds passions are all about. And, you know, so I thought that was an interesting series of interviews. And also it also offers uh, a certain voice to many people who don't really have a voice in the galactic community right now. So I thought that was that was uh, interesting. So I will be starting this uh, probably this upcoming week. So if some of you are interested in participating, uh, please, you can uh, uh, connect to, to me uh, through Telegram. And uh, as I have also announced that I'm back on Telegram. Uh, so you will see my uh, Telegram account. Uh, when you go on my website, abigailrichard.com, uh, you have a little telegram icon with a little blue uh, envelope there and you just have to click there and that gives you an opportunity to connect to my channel, which I invite you to subscribe to where you will be able to see uh, all the things I uh, share every day. Every day I publish a, a blog post, a video or a creation. So there's a lot going on there. And that's also an opportunity and a way for you to communicate with me uh, on a more personal level if you wish to participate in one of these interviews. So I very much look forward. Don't be shy. It's very informal. It's very, you know, it's not to put you on the spot. It's really for you to express your dreams and express how you engage in the present and perhaps in the future in projects, uh, in helping making this Terra um, this planet and its people, um, you know, more in a high vibration and high frequency. So uh, I'm going to do the interviews a little bit longer this time, uh, probably between 20 and 30 minutes, uh, but nothing strict, but just a maximum of 30 minutes. Uh, this way it gives us a little bit more time for people to express uh, their truth and their reality. So that's it for the announcement of today. So let's go back to our creative intuitive transmission of today, which bears the title, Trustfully Connecting to Your Essence. Um, so this came to me, uh, through a, a video I was actually listening from a, a person I listened to and I'm, it's, it's a francophone person. So that would not necessarily be of help to all of you, but, uh, this person was, um, talking about a topic, which I think is something that we all need to come back to here and there. And we need a little bit of, uh, to be reminded of, which has to do with this notion of, um, connecting to our true self, to our essence. Uh, to the fractal of source that we are, to our higher self. There's many names to that frequency, that that unique special frequency that we have and that we are, basically, that is much, much bigger than our Terran identity, our, our person, our ego. And often it's kind of, and again, I, I, I do not wish to devilize the ego and the mind because I think they have their purpose when it's in a balanced way. Um, but uh, often our ego and mind tend to overwhelm us. I certainly speak from experience. This is my issue in this lifetime. Also because I'm a Gemini, so I'm very much in my head and it turns really, really fast. Um, I have a hard time meditating. I have a hard time hearing my frequency. I get overwhelmed really easily. I get into drama really easily because, you know, the ego and the mind do their little dance for me in my brain. 
And uh, I'm often, often I need to be reminded that I am not, my identity is not my ego. It's not my mind. And it's also not my emotions. That doesn't mean that we don't need to um, welcome our emotions and look at them and live them and transmute them and then let them go. But we don't need to identify to them. It's, you know, we perhaps we should, in the way we speak, we could stop saying things like, I am sad, but say something like, I'm experiencing sadness right now, you know, because this is our words are, are you know, they're, they're spells and they talk about how we relate to things. And when we feel like we identify with our emotions or with our drama or with our life situations or with, you know, our certainties and our truth and, you know, we kind of lose the perspective that we're so much more than all this. We're so much more than all this because at the higher self level, we're such a huge soul that's a fractal of source that we tend to forget that we're not, you know, the passing difficult moment or happy moment. And often all of that is illusion. And that's so we are, we are often invited by different, you know, people out there, but, you know, our soul as well. And to use meditation, you know, and I'm the first one struggling with it, but to use meditation because it's not the easiest, but it's the most direct way to connect to our own frequency and incarnate a standpoint or viewpoint where we become the observer of what happens in our lives. That doesn't mean to be disconnected. There's, there's, a, there's a paradox there. That doesn't mean to be disconnected with our lives or with our bodies or with our emotions. It just means to not to be completely caught up in it and just keep the, the standpoint of the observer who just watches all of this come by and I use often the, the the image of the clouds that pass through the sky uh we just you know we, we we just see this go by but we don't necessarily need to identify it to it and when we keep that posture as much as possible through mindfulness but also through going within in that presence uh and we, and we keep staying present to our the essence of what we are to our true self to our higher self um, not only there's a great joy that suddenly it's not necessarily joy as a term of emotion, but it's more like a state of mind. It's more like a plenitude. I think I would use the word plenitude, but sometimes it could come with joy as well, because you feel so, so beyond all of this BS that happens in your life and in the world around you that you, you're in a state of plenitude of harmony where you're just observing all of this and you're like smiling you know so humor is a part of it as well and joy is a part of it because it's kind of the result you know that posture results in you being much more joyful and much more in humor and obviously in high vibes because you see things on the less dramatic kind of standpoint so it's a reminder that I needed to hear <laughs> from the Mela, which expressed itself through the message, but also you'll see through the music, but also through the message I've received from this video I listened to someone. So oh, it's important that we always stay, you know, uh, connected to, you know, the messages we receive, because sometimes that's what we need at the right moment. So, um, so I want to express this, but also through the music. So we... Two pieces of music were inspired to me uh, regarding this message. The first one is, you know, it's it's so funny. It's called and uh, it's called "Talking Loud and Saying Nothing" by James Brown, um, and this song is has a very um, a beat that I mean, if you don't dance on this song when you're going to be listening to it, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with you. You know, it's just so rhythmic. It's total funk and it's just like you just going, you're just going to dance. So it expresses this element of joy and uh, humor that we can find in, um, you know, taking not taking ourselves too seriously and also not taking the, the, the situations in our lives not too seriously as well. And uh, what the, what's funny about this song is that the whole, if you listen to the words and, you know, if you go to the Spotify link, that's going to be, it's the Spotify links are always under the video. You can go to the Spotify link and hear the song again, but there's, you have the words there and the words are so 
I mean, they they speak on so many levels. Um, it's really about a man, which, you know, is saying, but it's the narrator, James Brown, who's saying, you know, don't tell me what to do. And you're so annoying. And you tell me how to, you know, you 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 you, you take me for like a little boy. And, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're always, you're messing with my stuff. And you're just telling me how I should do things. And you're bas basically, you're meddling in my life. And just keep away and stop that. And, you know, and, and so we can see this in, three levels actually the first level um it could it could be about you know the talk between a couple you know like the man being annoyed by his very you know kind of a, 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 perhaps his partner who's very like you know very mingling and always interfering with his life uh i think personally that james brown really also expressed through this song the um the attitude uh white people were having at the time regarding uh, the black community uh which was very patronizing and very humiliating and always um keeping um you know black people in in a in a position of um of of submission and and telling them what they should be doing and you know and while their their words were saying something saying they were saying things but you know their their talk was empty and 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 full of void in a way and so uh and you know it's 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 kind of a, a wink to you know the whole slavery aspect of this social situation uh which i think is really interesting because it comes to talk about the third level in which i want to interpret this song in this context of the cit is this whole notion of the enslavement uh from uh, the ego and the mind uh and how we end up being told by a very nagging annoying partner called our ego and mind, which, you know, tell us that, oh, you're not enough. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. You should doing this better. You should, you're not tall enough. You're not thin enough. You're not all this BS that we hear all day long in the mental, you know, chatter, the monkey mind. That's all we hear. And so, you know, there's a part of us who says, can we just move on from that? <laughs> so I think this song through its humor through the rhythm of the dance, it it just it just invites you to just put that like just let go of all that BS and just be in your joy, be in yourself, but connect to that higher self that you are. You're not your ego, you're not your mind. And the second song as comes as a compliment, very, very different in style. The second one is called Answered by Silence. Again, a very, you know, very telling title. It's by Dan Gibson, who does a series of albums uh, called Solitudes. And the this specific album is entitled Zen Escape. And Answered by Silence is a mix of beautiful kind of Japanese flute uh, with a background of um, birds. And to me, it really, really connects with this. You know, there's a moment like in the first song by James Brown when we say, okay, ego in mind, stop it. <laughs> and then the second song is that phrase where you actually sit down and then we come to uh, our background here. Where you actually take the opportunity to go into the forest, going into nature going which is also a symbol of going within yourself and you sit on this very minimalist bench and you just go within through meditation ideally or just going within and you just open that portal to the higher self to the light that you are because in through true essence you are light you are a fractal of source. You are source. You are not that mind and ego that just screams into your ear all day long, like in the first song by James Brown. So we are really invited to think of ourselves or let's say to feel ourselves much more than we are. That is these fractals of source, which are everything they are the whole we are the whole we are everything and nothing at the same time and by that i'm saying that sometimes we need to let go of that story of our life to be ready to go through what some people call the death of the ego that doesn't mean that you you you, you kill the ego or devilize it it just means that you say to the ego okay i don't want your story anymore you know you can help me just keep track of time to be just functional or whatever uh you can protect me in some ways you have protected me in my childhood perhaps whatever but there comes a time when the enslavement has to stop and the ego and mind have to stop being your master 
And then you can remember that you're not your story. You're not your certainties. You're not your, you know, what you think you are as an identity. You're so much more. You're so much bigger and so much lighter and so much more beautiful. And so, you know, so, so much more expansion there in terms of what you are and that we are. So that brings us to our collage of today, uh, Lahinai, which uh, is represented so by this really navy blue background of uh, which for me really represents this calm spirituality, which also you know comes back with uh, you know the the background here, which is very a uh, calm and blue with you know stars and light, uh, and you know the same thing. The background here is navy blue with these golden little flowers or, or star-shaped flowers, which reminds us of the little fractals of source that we all are and that we constitute this way, this planet, this blue earth, blue jewel that we have on Terra. The central large circle, golden circle for me represent, which is, you know, golden, but with these birds in flight, uh, white birds in flight for me represent uh, the way in which we connect with source through the higher self that we are as fractals of source, but not just like out there, but through the Terran matrix. Um, this time, I don't mean matrix in the sense of deep states matrix, but more in the sense of like in the Terran reality, we ground our spirituality in connection to source through the realities of Terra, which are represented here by the birds in flight, by the, the trees, the fruits, the flowers, uh, but, you know, beauty of source incarnated through this Terran way. Um, the lower circle, which is represented by a navy blue background with golden waves, represents for me the, um, if you want, the challenges of the ego, uh, for the ego being, you know, being chaotic and bringing us into these waves and, you know, of like here and there, left and right, we're always kind of, you know, um, tumble, tumbling into the ego's little patterns and and, and and schemes if you want and then you have a little black circle um with a golden uh japanese script which for me represent in this case the notion of the mind so it's the mind within the ego uh and the the script for me represents the words which often you know the our soul is kind of wordless it's very silent it's very it's it's filled it's it speaks through light while words on terra really you know translate in a way the, the 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 mind and the ego and everything like that so it's more like that lower part that's a little bit more challenging uh and then the upper circle obviously represents the stars the connection to stars to our spirituality to the multiple the multiplicity uh and complexity of our soul which is multi-dimensional it's so much more than just you know we are so much bigger to, than our terran identities or even our star seed lives or previous lives or you know we're we're, we're just so large um and and multiple you know and then to connect um, us to that central source-like circle, uh, which is grounded into Terra, spirituality grounded on Terra, we have the round red circle uh, with, again, flowers and branches, which to me represents the connection to the heart. Um, and we could also use the upper circle with the stars as the pineal gland. So it is my feeling that uh, through the heart and through the pineal glands are the two portals to which we can connect to be in contact with that true self that we are, that essence, that uh, fractal of source, that higher self that we are. So the heart is really the place where we, and not in the mind, where we can connect and, you know, be in, um, you know, really incarnate our true selves and, and, and be who we really are, which is that fractal of source. Obviously, we have those two branches, golden branches here, which are made of gold with uh, the flower motif, which, as I always repeat, for me represents the notion of source. So uh, for me, it's like through the connection to the heart and transmuting the mind and the ego, again, not devilizing them, but just giving them their right place and not be enslaved by them, we can open our wings into uh, into the connection to our higher self, uh, our fractal of source that we are and source itself. So this is how uh, iconographically this uh, Japanese washi paper collage illustrates not only what has been transmitted through the message um, of the Mela Collective I am part of, but also through the music. 
and uh, the background here that inspire us to really stop the noise and sit down, meditate and go within through the portals of our heart and our uh, pineal gland. Uh, this collage is available as an original and as a digital as a digital file on my uh, website abigailrichard.com in my art shop. So I'm going to leave you now, I'll let you go uh, with an invitation to perhaps uh, be a little bit more present, mindful, and give yourself some meditative time every day, especially in this difficult period, uh, because the mind is very triggered right now. The ego is very triggered right now through you know all the tricks the deep state is trying to um you know sending on us to really trigger us and challenges to preventing us from going to high vibrations and high frequencies which would constitute us being connected to our higher self and the fractal of source that we are our true self true essence so you're you know we are invited myself included to go back to this meditative process which is absolutely crucial very important so I'm going to let you go. Uh, I will I will let you go to the music. <laughs> you can have a dance with James Brown and just, you know, this dance. It's not just it's not just, you know, a light thing. You know, I think it's really important that this dance and this joy uh, is something that you can you're invited to experience because it's something that really brings high frequencies in your body. And so, you know, it's an invitation. It's another way of connecting to your true joy, to your true self, because source is joy, source is love. So you are that. So through this dance and music, perhaps you can transcend the words. You can, you can just be in the rhythm. And the same thing with the second piece of music, more calmness, which is another way of communicating and connecting to your true self, which is this plenitude and harmony, which is complementary to the joy and to the high frequencies. So uh, I hope uh, this uh, session has brought you or inspired you uh, to go back within. I send you lots of love. Take immense care of yourself and stay in touch. Bye. <laughs>
Keep on singing, 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 keep on singing,
All my gratitude for helping this channel bring high vibrations and high frequencies to more people.